Chesterfield? Uh, oh. Yeah, Jennifer. Jen Gannett from, I'm the assistant town administrator in Deerfield. Oh, cool. Hi, Jen. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop my camera. Yeah. Good job, Bill. Zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, the only thing, uh, the in information that I have, um, I got a message from one of the Deerfield PD officers, a friend of mine that said he had a, uh, somebody that would like to hunt the geese, um, um, obviously during hunting season. His name is Eric. I don't have any other information. I am going to get that, but he is asking for permission to, um, Take a kayak out and do hunting um, that way. So I am good with it. Yes, so we've had that happen before in the past. There's been requests, and uh, it seems to have gone well. We haven't had any problems. Nothing recently, years, but in the past, we've had requests of uh, doing the same thing. As long as they stay uh, away from the houses. The proper distances and do the whatever quota they can have, you know, by whatever by law, you know, if they can only shoot so many or whatever during that uh, hunting season. I have no problem with it. Okay. I don't have a problem with it either. I didn't know we ever did it before, or but yeah. Oh, years and years ago, there was the same a thing. Million years ago? Yeah. Yeah. Well, a good 10 years ago or better, probably. Um. Yeah, fine by me. Yep. I vote. Uh, it's okay with me. Okay. So I believe we have to create a letter and then send it to um, the towns just so they have it on file. So if the bill also. Well, well draw, draw up a letter and get the person's name because that'll be the person that's over allowing. Okay. And then the we're going to give it to the the chiefs of police just so they have a heads up on that especially the one yep. we so yeah that'll be a good idea okay all right i and mean it's just only a certain window of time anyway so yeah so i'll I'll, I'll try to get that letter yeah, i don't know if it's whatever the window is okay so bill the um i was Wondering what your thoughts were and Sue, what your thoughts are about possibly, and I don't know if we need a dumpster or a dump truck. Some yeah. type, um, there seems to be a lot of stuff at the beach that we can get rid of. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, how much is it, you know, uh, we can go down there and look at it and see what it is. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Um, the dock from from my knowledge and from what the guard said it's probably um done it's it's probably lived its life in, in no it's fine are you sure we can look at that too okay, but when you look at it and i look at it <laughs> well the la last time when i this summer i had i had it all re you know reattached you know what the boards were you know a little rickety Mm -hmm. And then we put a coat of stain on it. It looks pretty good to me, as good as it would be, unless something's happened in the last two and a half months. I don't think it. Was, I think it's fine. Well, it should be looked at. Then, they, then you know. Okay. So do then you, the, you know, want me? first hand, you know, is better than second hand knowledge. Okay. Right. I'd like to get rid of all the rickety stuff everywhere and just get rid of it. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. Maybe we should set up a meeting down at the site and do a walk around. And then I know there's a couple of trees that went down since we've closed up. Mm -hmm. As it's even, you know, when we stopped mowing in uh, August, yeah. you know, there's, uh, I was, uh, I drove by there and, uh, you know, I would get a deal with that. There's one at, at the end of the, down by the fence, you know, the, at the end of the, where the dock is, you know, where the floating dock is down that end there. It's a, one went down. Hi, excuse me. This is Jen Gannett. I just wanted to interrupt. Um, excuse me. Um, if did you do a roll call? Bill Skrosky. Sue Monahan. Beth Foley. Judy Bardwell. Oh, hi, 
Judy. Hello. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, Judy, were you on when we voted to have a, a hunter down there? No. Okay. Well, but that's fine. Is it fine with you? <laughs> yep. It's a person that's uh, recommended by a police officer in Deerfield to do some go out there with a kayak and you know, kind of deter the birds. Okay. Bill, what was the weed situation? How bad was it this summer? I never went. Well, to it was as bad as ever. It's, I don't know. We're really going to have to do something. I don't know. Maybe when we have that meeting, we'll go down and take a look. I don't know what we can do in between now and next spring. But uh, but uh, it was still floating in pretty good. That's a bummer. So, do uh, you guys want to set up a meeting for that? Sure. Will they On let site? us? I, yeah, will they let us officially? That's the problem. Oh. Huh? You know, like they don't, they won't let you meet. I mean. Well, I think you can meet, uh, you know, as long as you do the social distancing. I mean, even if you see other meetings like conservation and other ones that they have to go and look at a property or the Board of Health to look at a septic system, I mean, to approve different things, there's, you know, they have you know, outdoor meat. And that's outdoor, you know what I mean? Right, you know, right. We're just no, going to drive up to the it. place, uh, walk, away, you know, do the social distancing apart and then look at what we need to, you know, do and then, uh, you know, the, go from there. Can I just weigh in on this? This is Jen again, sorry. Um, I would just follow the governor's orders and just keep watch, if, you know, on the day that you're going out uh, for the gathering amounts outdoor, outdoors, wearing uh, face coverings and keeping the six feet distance. And just yeah, that's check, what I mean. it, check it on the governor's website just to make sure, because yeah. it's ever every day it's changing. Um, yeah. We're constantly right. on the calls with the governor's office. So yeah. Okay, thank you. So could so could we like go there and just you know like if the four of us went there like do we have to declare yeah. a meeting or can yes. we just like do like yeah. a site visit and yeah we do have to we, we have to post we a have to and declare all a meeting and make sure we have minutes of it you know detailed okay and do yeah. this you know okay. the mask and social distancing which which we're going to do we're going to be outside you know right and just walk right. around point out what we need to do discuss and then uh, you know keep, write that all down and and make a decision or whatever. Can we do that? Right. Okay. That would just come back to this office after the meeting, so I can post it because the way it would need to be posted is that it's open to the public. So if anybody from the public wants to come and do this socially distance, if there's more yeah. than ten people, then you know. We're... Then we have to shut it down. Yeah, but exactly. we've never had anybody hardly ever show up, anyways. No. <laughs> Okay. Can we do this sooner than later before it gets too cold and snowy? Yeah, that's a good idea. It's up to you when you want to do it. Um, you guys tell me I'm pretty flexible. I mean, I can do it. Well, I could do it. It'd be dark probably unless I could meet you guys down there on my lunch hour. Okay. Um, well, if it's during the week or, yeah. you know, can we do it on like a Saturday at 9 a.m.? Just do a quick show up and... I can. Yeah. You know, I don't. I don't know how that works for you I'm guys. Flexible. But, uh, yeah, it's not like anybody's doing anything these days. <laughs> I can't. I, I don't think we can do it this Saturday because you got to post it. Right. It's too soon. But yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, something like that would would work for me. Or I could meet you guys there on a lunch hour, like one o'clock or something. You know, or yeah. Whatever. Whatever you want to do, um, I can. I can try to make it work. I'm up for sat next Saturday at nine. I can do that. I'm good. Next. Are you yeah, good? I think I am too. Okay. It's okay. the weekend well, after Thanksgiving. We free, gonna... It'll be good. Okay. Works for me too. So okay. I'm cool. Okay. Let's do that. I would just need an agenda um, by Monday because Thursday, well, Friday offices are closed. So. Okay. Well, the agenda will be look at the doc, any debris.
debris or uh, if we need to get it up. You Again, know, somebody write up what you want. Or something like that. Or, write and, up what uh, you want and send it to me, please. Okay. Thank you. Give me that. So you're going to do that? I can do that. Thank you. Okay. That's all I got. Um, yeah, because uh, we, we can't really tell what you need for repairs or maintenance until we actually go look at it anyway. Yeah, and who even knows, who even I know a couple of sections look like they fell down, so we we'll probably got to get a couple posts every year or so. The You know, those posts that are in the ground rot out, you know, after 10 or 20, 30 years, and you know, been out there a long time. I've been replacing one or two every year, so it looks like a couple. With those those windy days, I think it must have did a toll on them, along with that tree. Leave it out there, so Ronnie. Take care of that now, or at least in the spring. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank you. All right. That's it. That's all we need. Okay. Yeah. All set, guys. Yeah, all set. I'm here. Thank you. All right, so we're ready. Everybody in a week. So next Saturday, Saturday at nine good. next week. Yeah. All right. And I will send an email right now. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye. And Beth, you're going to do the uh, letter to the for the goose hunting. Yes, I will do the letter for the goose hunting. Yep. <laughs> Geese hunting, <laughs> goose hunting, whatever it is. Okay. <laughs> Those birds, yes. All right, cool. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks. All right. Thank we'll see you guys then. next week. Thank you. Thanks. Have a nice Thanks. holiday. Bye. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. You too. You too. You too. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.